Okay, so this one is about uh, binomial probability. So binomial means uh, by, which means um, two different cases, yes or no, or right or wrong, that kind of cases here. So as you see, this one shows that the probability value already. So I can say p equal to 0.41, then q must be 0.59. Therefore, the sum of p plus q will be 100%. And now on the sentence, you will be given actually total number of cases as well. So you randomly select four US women, which means n equal to four here. Now the x value will be given from the uh, problem here. So number one, exactly two of them respond yes, right? So which means Number number one case x equals two. Therefore, it becomes four c two and the point forty one square power and point fifty nine. Now it's a four minus two equal to two. So that will be its probability. If you calculate that, you will get point three. Point thirty five one one like this. Okay? But number two case it shows that at least two of them respond yes. So at least means that will be minimum value here. So this case X become two, three and four. The reason I stop at four because um Total n will go to 4, so we can go any further. So maximum n can be 4. Good? Which means, unfortunately, a binomial case, you need to find each probability separately and combine them together. So in this case, you find p2, p3, and p4 separately, and you combine them. You know p2 already, which is a 0 0.3511. So, so p3 will be... 4c3.41 third power and the 0.59 4 minus 3 becomes 1 power right and p4 becomes 4c4 and 0.41 fourth power times 0.59 to the 4 minus 4 becomes 0 power if we calculate that it becomes uh, 0.1627 and 0.0283 so p2 plus p 3 plus p 4 will be 0 0.3511 plus 0 0.1627 plus 0 0.0283 then total becomes 0.5421 that will be the answer now c is fewer than two of them respond yes fewer means less than Two, but not include two. So now we can say um, x will become zero and one. Many of you actually um, don't include zero, maybe unconsciously, but you have to think the whole number from st uh, start from zero. Good. So you have to do p z uh, x become zero and one, which means you need to find p zero and p one separately like uh, last time. So become 4c1, uh, 4c0, and 0 0.41, 0 power, and 0 0.59, 4 minus 0 become 4 power, and this become 4c1, and 0 0.41, 1 power, and the 0 0.59 to the 4 minus 1, third power. You just calculate them. If you do it, you will get 0 0.1212 and the 0 0.3368. So probability fewer than two two will be P zero plus P one which is point one two one two plus point three three six eight. If you calculate that point four five eight zero this case. Okay? But now you know the um if n equal to 4, then possible outcome x will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, f actually, right? And which means you find p0 plus p1 plus 
P2 plus P3 plus P4 equal to 1 actually. That's the probability distribution rule. Now, among the uh, second question, we have this probability already because we found at least two cases anyway. So, instead of doing letter C, since we know this one, we the answer is 0 0.5421. To find this probability, you actually subtract 0.5421 to both sides. Then what, what happened here? P0 plus P1 equal to 1 minus 0 0.5421, which equal to 0 0.4579. So as you see, this value and this value slightly different but almost same. And they're actually supposed to be same but the rounding system sometimes gives us a little bit different answer. But you know sometimes you better use complement event case.